Hello everybody and welcome back to Forest River. As you can see we are here in one of the soybean fields. I did already bale a little bit. Um, I got the headlands done and uh, we're already at 14 bales. So made quite a few bales already and uh, everything's working great so no complaints there uh, we're gonna try and get as many more bales made as we can but uh, I don't think that's gonna be a problem so it is the straw is I'll say yielding uh, really well I mean we are filling extremely quick I mean as you guys saw 14 bales just off of the two rounds around this field so I think we'll have uh, a lot of bale hauling and selling to do and uh, Should be able to make a decent amount of money off of it, hopefully. That is the end goal. So, we'll see what we can make happen, I guess. But, this tractor is definitely in for a workout between running this baler and uh, then afterwards it gets to pick a ball up. Excuse me. So,. Yeah, between baling and hauling bales, this thing's gonna get uh, get a workout. But that's all right. This tractor hasn't really uh, had much to do this year, so it could uh, use some time out of the shed and in the field. So, and to me, this just looks better on the baler than that uh, international wood, but. That's just me. I like my baling tractors with duels and stuff anyways, usually. But, again, like I said, that, that's just me. And so I did talk to, uh... Brian about uh, how he's moving into that place over there um, we didn't talk a whole lot on the phone just because he was a little busy uh, but he said he is for sure moving back he is fixing up the house and uh, we are gonna get together at some point here um, meet up for a burger or something catch up and he said he'd uh, love to sit and catch up and talk more so not sure quite yet what that uh, can mean but um, we will see I guess But uh, he did say he's coming in uh, tomorrow, so uh, that should uh, kind of work out good because hopefully by tomorrow we're finished with all this bailing and everything and at least getting close to done with hauling. I mean, the hauling, I'm not as in a hurry to get done as uh, I am to get these bales made. Just because, uh, I mean, as I mean, as I mentioned in yesterday's video, uh, it could snow on us pretty much at any time now. So, um, 
I mean, we can get the bales hauled out in the snow, but you can't really bale the straw in the snow. So, uh, yeah, I, I want to get this stuff bailed up. And then we can kind of relax a little bit when it comes to uh, hauling it. All right, so we made 22 bales off of this field. Now we'll uh, head on over to our other bean field. We're gonna tackle the corn last. And I haven't taken the uh, rake back to John's yet. Uh, I just pulled it up in the yard and away we went. So uh, we will eventually get that washed up and taken back. Same with the baler whenever we're done. The one downside I have with this baler is it only goes up to 150 uh, centimeter bales or cubic meter or whatever uh, but it only goes to the 150 bales and normally I like to run the 180s but still a fantastic baler looks really nice well done and it works real good so I guess you can't complain too much when it uh, gets the job done Yeah, as you can see, it does just register as straw. So, which is perfectly fine. I mean, for down the road when we do have cows, um, that will kind of make things easier because then you're not juggling multiple different types of uh, straw bales or anything like that. So, that part will help. It would be neat if, you know, it actually made it register as uh, soybean straw or, you know, whatever uh, it is, but this works just as well. And in this scenario, it does help too because we don't have to, you know, empty the baler out after we finish the soybean because the corn is the exact same thing. So that also helps as well. Kind of simplifies that stuff a little bit for us. Yeah, we're at 29 bales already. Goodness. So we've already made over a trailer load. Cause, uh, I believe that trailer holds 24.
And these end row bales, we're just going to dump them along the edge, so that way they're not uh, in the way for turning around. Just to make our life a little easier. would like to look into uh, purchasing a snowblower as well. Uh, before winter, if possible. We can make do with just our snow bucket, but I'd like to get a snowblower. Then we could pop the duels off of this thing, and this would be perfect for it. Mainly just because it's a front wheel assist tractor so we could uh, use this thing for moving snow. Thankfully, though, we are kind of flying on through the bailing, which is good because it is already 3 in the afternoon, so it is starting to get late. And I would love to have all the bailing and hauling done today, but... Uh, If it doesn't work out that way, that's all right too, but so that's bail thirty five already. Goodness. I probably shouldn't be bailing at 13 miles an hour, but for the sake of trying to get some video stuff done, we're going to bail that fast. It would be really cool if the uh, bail monitor gauge right there actually worked. That would be really cool. I don't think I have seen a baler in farm sim that uh, actually had that working. It would be really, really cool though, that's for sure. It'd be really nice for when you're playing in cab like this. We have already used over half of our net wrap, so we're definitely going to be needing to uh, get that pallet of net wrap over here and which I did talk to John about that and uh, he said uh, whenever we're gonna come grab it just let him know and uh, he'll have Jesse bring a 
bobcat up and uh, they'll just throw it in the box for me. Then I don't have to mess around with hauling ours over there or anything like that. And we can just go over there, grab it, and go. So that's awesome. That'll be a really big help for us. So I just give them a heads up before we leave the farm and um, he can get Jesse on his way up so so I'll probably call him when we're getting ready to unload our oil barrels and then uh, I should give him plenty of time to get up there and so because he did say that the bobcat was already loaded so all he's got to do is just jump in the pickup and drive up. He doesn't have to load it or anything like that, so. Oh yeah, we are going to have bales. Goodness. Yeah, we might even need net wrap by the time we finish the end of this field. It's crazy. Just a crazy amount of bales that we're getting. It is, I mean, it is crazy. But, like I said, it's a really good thing, so. more bales the better might take it make it so that uh, it takes us longer to get all this stuff done but that is quite all right because the more bales we make the more money that we'll make which will be a huge huge help Looks like we got about five windrows left, so we're getting there. We're getting close. make it to the end not quite goodness
I definitely would love to have a baler like this, but I think that's a little ways off. John told me what they paid for this baler, and that was a hefty, hefty price, so I think I'll find something a little older to start with once we uh, get into cattle. It is definitely nice though being able to use this and kind of try it out and you know you kind of know for down the road of uh, what you're going to need or what what I guess not what you need but what it's like I should say you know, a demo run so to speak. Got two more to go, so a down and a back, and then we'll have these uh, soybean windrows bailed up. Actually kind of surprised that we made it to the end there. Did not think it was going to. There we are. Fifty two bales already. Holy smokes. Alrighty, so 53 is what we made on soybean. Now we'll get to see uh, just how many we're going to make off of corn. It's going to be uh, quite a bit. So what I'm going to do... Is I'm gonna get probably this first field done off camera at least um, and then uh, we'll get to bailing it in tomorrow's video so that is uh, gonna do it today folks thanks everybody for tuning in and as always hope to see you in the next one <laughs>